Tonight we are continuing our coverage on the protests seen on college campuses across the U.S. Several protests have been seen on the national scale, such as encampments at Yale, Columbia and Northeastern. Wisconsin is also seeing pro-Palestine protests pop up on college campuses. On your screen right now are students at UW-Milwaukee, and as you can see, they too are setting up encampments. And right now on UW-Madison's campus, hundreds have gathered on Library Mall. They are calling the university to divest from companies profiting off of the war in Gaza. And campus administration has promised to enforce rules against camping on the mall, but still students have put up tents. JT Siskowski is live on Library Mall, and he's been following the protest all day, speaking to protesters and campus administration. And JT, how long are we expecting the protests to last? Yeah, the protests began here around 9 o'clock this morning, and they were expected to last all day, and they have. Though we've seen the protesters continue to bring in shipments of supplies like water, snacks, and other things, seemingly they're going to try and make the long haul of it here. Uh, though uh, the, the, the energy here behind me is a far cry from what it was this morning. It's more relaxed now. This morning there were hundreds of protesters all shouting and chanting in unison. This protest was organized by Students for Justice in Palestine. They hey, erected tents and defended them with a human wall against the potential of police removal. State rules forbid in camping on the mall, and UW says that it will enforce that rule. But the students haven't violated the rule yet. But UW Police Department is out here watching to see if this turns into a bona fide long-term encampment. I reached out to UW Police for a comment on how they are responding to these protests. I have not heard back. Organizers say that this protest is about how their money, that is, their tuition and tax dollars, are being spent. This is a public institution that is using our money as students to support something that we find morally horrific. Um, and it is the responsibility of the public university to be accountable to its students and to its taxpayers. To UW Madison for a response. I have not yet heard back, but I am told by a UW spokesperson that some sort of response is coming at some point today. Other protests at college campuses across the country have lasted days, and police have been brought in to clear out some of those encampments. Police here, much more relaxed. There's only two or three officers present as of right now, but the situation could escalate. And to that end, we have crews who will be monitoring the situation here into the evening and then into the night if it goes that long. But for now, live in Madison, JT Siskowski, 27 News.